So my brothers, my sisters, there is one point that I want to raise tonight. Dua. Supplication. What role does it play in my life and yours if Allah has already predestined things? Good question, right? Why should I even ask Allah? It's already predestined. Well, I tell you the hadith says, one thing that can move your predestined matters to a degree is dua. And another is charity. Did you hear that? So, yes, perhaps your date of death might not change. But inside of that, there is a lot that can be maneuvered through your dua and through your charity. So keep being good, doing good. Keep calling out to Allah, be charitable. And the charity for us, you and I know, is not just monetary. Even your expression, the expression on your face is a charity. Mashallah. You can convert the expression on your face to a charity. By what? By making it pleasant. Making people feel welcome. Creating that warmth. You don't have to be miserable because when you're miserable, it is also contagious. And when you're cheerful, it is also contagious. Or you at least help people who might feel sad. No, it's not all about doom and gloom. Look at these guys, they are smiling. Let me break into a smile as well. For a while, your burden is lessened. Mashallah. Imagine entering a room, people are smiling, they greet you. You automatically feel welcome. Imagine entering another room where everybody's just looking down as you enter. They don't even look at you. It's like, where did this person come from? Right? You don't even feel welcome. You go in there, even if you were happy walking in, you're already sad because I think I'm in the wrong place. These people don't even want me here. They're not even acknowledging. Look at how this has an impact on you. Hence it is called a sadaqa. Tabassumuka fi wajhi akhika sadaqa. To smile at the face of your brethren. A charity. And where did I speak about charity from? The fact that it will help you when it comes to your destiny to a degree. So Allah created us in a unique way. He has yes predestined things but he creates needs in us within us. And those needs, he wants us to fulfill them by the ability that he's given us. I want to get married. I need to do something about it. I want to earn. I want to get a job. I want, I need to do something about it with the capacity that was given to me by Allah. But I do not take prayer and supplication out of the equation. Prayer and supplication more powerful than anything you will do but it is coupled with what you shall do because Allah gives you the ability to do it so you have some people saying you know what I want this but I'm just gonna pray about it that's it I need the job and I'm going to ask Allah all night every night Allah's allowed you to discover the email of Perhaps the place where you want to work. Allah has allowed you to discover the name of the person who's at human resources. Who's perhaps dishing out the jobs. And Allah expects you to utilize your mind that he gave you. Your capacity he gave you. You're sitting next to me. You're meeting me today. It's not a coincidence. It's not. It was planned by Allah. But didn't you make a little effort given the ability that Allah gave you? There were others after you had perhaps booked who wanted to book who couldn't book because it was all sold out it was so may allah grant us goodness you have to use that capacity but does that mean you only use the capacity without dua or you only make dua without using your capacity a true moment it's a marriage of both it's a marriage of both but which is more powerful the dua <laughs> the prayer the supplication is definitely more powerful but in order to acknowledge the greatness of Allah, you must acknowledge the ability He's given you. If you can sit and stand today, it's only because Allah gave you the power to do that. That's why when Qarun, the very wealthy person at the time of the Prophet Moses, may peace be upon him, mentioned in Surah Al-Qasas, if I'm not mistaken, Allah Almighty says that his crime was not that he had wealth. His crime was he allowed the wealth to make him arrogant. 
And on top of that, he told everyone, this is nothing to do with God Almighty. This is me, my intellect, my brain, my capacity, my physical strength and my sharp brain. I got all this and I made you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Who gave you that brain? Did you give yourself the brain? Who gave you the capacity? Who gave you the ability? Who allowed you to network and to meet? We think we're intelligent. Hang on, hang on. It's Allah who allowed you to network. Today we have social media through which the bulk of us have gotten to know each other. Am I right? Where did that come from? Did Allah not? You might say, oh, it's a human being. It's these people, those people. This social media belongs to that one and this one and this one invented this and that. Did Allah not give them the capacity in their brains? Where did their brains come from? So go back to the source, the root. It's always Allah. Do not allow yourself to forget Allah. Allah is the first of that entire equation. My beloved brothers and sisters, make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Dua is the essence of ibadah. Dua can change your destiny. The taqdeer, the predestiny can never be changed except by dua. So make this dua if you want to have a good future, if you want to have something good, if you want anything from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah loves you when you make dua to Him. Allah wants to answer you. Allah is saying, Ud'uni astajib lakum. Call me. I'll respond to your call. Are we asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala consistently? Whatever you ask, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can give you. There is nothing big or small for Allah. He can give you anything and everything just try asking him and allah loves your continuous plea don't just ask one or two days and then if you don't get you become depressed and you don't ask no allah doesn't like it allah doesn't like the impatient ones allah loves the patient ones allah is saying was bisabri was salah ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with patience and with salah with prayer when you connect these two, patience and prayer, and when you continuously make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will definitely give you. Try asking Allah. Everything that is coming to you is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every breath you are taking, and the eye, the hand, the nose, the legs, everything Allah has given you without you even asking him so when you ask him for anything let it be materialistic or spiritual in this dunya and on the akhirah Allah will give you and the best duas are those which has the part of akhirah in it like Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhab al nar Oh my Lord, give me the best in this dunya. And then give me the best in the hereafter. And then protect me from the punishment of hellfire. What an amazing dua. My beloved brothers and sisters, so continuously make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can even change your destiny because of your dua. Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org link in the description.